how to create a Facebook purchase conversion campaign. First, you always wanna get a lot of data like add to carts, initiate checkouts, and so forth before you create a purchase campaign. So then Facebook's algorithms data will work for you more effectively, right? So in here, we wanna start off uh, campaigns. You can see that we've got a lot of add to carts now. Uh, we even have some purchases coming through. And this is a fairly new account. So let's now show you how to create a conversion uh, for a purchase. Obviously you have to have the Facebook pixel set up and you can check out our other videos how to do that. But let's go through. First you wanna go into campaigns and this may look a little different. Facebook changes it all the time. So you come in here, we're gonna create a new campaign. I'm in what's called Business Facebook Ads Manager in here. So hit create. We're gonna come in here and we're gonna click conversions here. We're gonna hit continue. And then it's a new campaign, come through here, conversions, uh, that's good. And then in the ad set area, we're gonna go through website. Uh, notice pixel it has already, the green means it has already gotten some conversions on that. Same thing with the purchase, We've got 22 on that. Now we wanna purchase campaign. And then we can go through and set this up like any other uh, ad campaign and you know how to do that from watching my other videos. And if you haven't, go watch other videos how to set up this more effectively by using either lookalike audiences, custom audiences, uh, setting up the location, age, gender, and then setting up even the detailed targeting in here, uh, as well as uh, what should you check on automatic placement or manual placement uh, and conversions and manual controls and so forth. And then at that point, you just come in and you set up the ad and add your images, add all that data in here. So it's that simple on how to set that conversion up. And so we're gonna actually delete this because this campaign is already set up and we have one ad set that's converting. So we're gonna do it from actually a duplicate, duplicating this ad to cart and just changing it from a purchase campaign. So we're gonna hit duplicate. Uh, Follow it up again, wait for Facebook to finish here. So come in here and so notice, now this is copy, I'm gonna change this. When naming my campaigns, I always uh, name it something that's related uh, to the ad set, what it is, a purchase, uh, version two, 30 to 55, beverage admins, income, copy four, whatever. So I can get rid of that, so I know that it's a purchase website instead of add to cart, I wanna change this to a purchase event. Scroll down here, make sure all this stays the same. We're good with this. Uh, manual placements, all that is the same. And then I wanna hit publish because it's just duplicating the campaign that's already performing well. I wanna see if the purchase campaign will beat out the add to cart campaign in obviously get more purchases at a lower cost per acquisition, and obviously even get more add to carts at a lower uh, add to cart um, value. So if I come in here, right, so obviously, obviously it's in review. So right now we're getting $9.18 uh, per add to cart. And if we scroll over even more, and this is why it's so important to always check your data and use this data to compare. So cost per, ch per purchase right now, or a CPA or cost per acquisition, uh, is $82.96. My goal is to beat this with this new campaign. Obviously, Facebook's goal is now to get purchases as opposed to just add to carts. So it's gonna focus on working harder to get more purchases as opposed to getting add to carts. The add to cart is $9.22. I don't really care if this value goes up as long as this value goes down. Our whole goal is to get a lower cost per acquisition. And that's why you constantly look at that data and so forth. Yes, can you change the ad sets, the audiences, and the ad copy to obviously improve this? Yes, of course, and there's other videos showing you how to do that, but this one specifically uh, is about just creating that conversion uh, purchase campaign. And since we wanna duplicate this process because we're stair-stepping up, right? First, we got more add to carts, uh, or first we got more landing page views, then we got add to carts at a lower cost per uh, 
add to cart and now we're getting purchases now our goal is to get a lower cost per purchase and continually improve that um, uh, cost per acquisition so we're getting uh, our margins or our ROI that we want if you have any questions uh, if you need help uh, feel free uh, to leave comments below like and subscribe to the channel you can set up a call with us if you want to work with us that's fine as well as there's a lot of free content in the description below to different uh, Facebook courses that are for beginners as well as some other things that will help your business your brand uh, grow and uh, help you with automations so like I said please like and subscribe to this channel we appreciate you and everybody who watches this and uh, thank you